The opening ceremony for the exhibition commenced on May Day with the procession of local tradesmen and the associated guilds of Cork. The first banner on display is that of the Irish National Foresters, escorted by members in full regalia. Members of local trade unions are also represented, as are the friendly societies and local church guilds. Such parades were used as a means of demonstrating their faith or their political alliances and were a major part of Edwardian society. This event was filmed on behalf of George Green, the fairground showman from Preston, who had sole cinematograph rights for the exhibition. He presented this wonderful footage in the concert hall of the exhibition grounds. Horse riders in fancy dress parade alongside members of an Irish language society holding a banner in Gaelic. A tableau vivant of Adam and Eve, both male, is seen standing either side of the tree of knowledge, with Eve holding the apple in her hand. The couple then stand to attention when they realize they are being filmed by the cinematograph. Groups of carriages then enter the procession as the civic guests are carried to the front for the official opening ceremony. The procession continues with more detailed banners, many of which would have taken part in the annual St. Patrick's Day parade through the city. Inside the formality of the proceedings, young boys walk nonchalantly beside the elegantly clad paraders, staring at the camera as the procession proceeds around them. and processions were always a marker of a civil event, with the whole locality appearing to be taking part. They were of course also important for early filmmakers, as it afforded them with another opportunity to film large groups of people who would then be willing to pay to see themselves on screen. In this third sequence, we see the VIP dignitaries pass in their elaborate horse and carriages. The ornate carriages seen here are two state coaches, specially transported from Dublin, carrying the Lord Mayor of Dublin and his party of aldermen and councillors, with other attendees, including the mayors of Derry, Galway, Limerick, and Waterford. The celebrations continue as members of the local fire brigade join the procession followed by a cavalcade of the great and the good of local society. 
some of whom ignores the crowd, who wave and cheer as they pass. takes his position behind the jostling spectators, eager to see the VIPs. His view is partly obscured by the elaborate headwear worn by the local ladies. Dublin arrives with the state coaches and the civic guests leave their carriages awaiting the arrival of the Lord Mayor of Cork to open the exhibition. Mm -hmm. 